Oh gosh, what have I done? Greetings, Lux lovers. Welcome or welcome back. Here we like to geek out on luxury shopping vlogs, Lux chit chat, and good old fashioned unboxings like today. I don't know about you, but I went a little crazy with the sales this past 4th of July weekend. I've mentioned in my past video about my shopping triggers that discounts just always get me. And I found these sales a little too good to pass up. But because I use my shopping decision criteria, I know that all of these things will be put to good use and they all have a purpose. Plus you'll see, I got a nice mix of low price items and high price items. So let's get started. So let's start with this item. And these are all true first impressions. I'll try to talk as I open so that we can get through all this stuff quickly. This is an item that was bought from the Goodwill website and as I was doing research for my luxury for the weekend video, I found this online and let's open it up. So it comes pretty tightly wrapped and because it's Goodwill, there's no really no frills. Oh, it's cute. It is a new current Elliott denim shirt. So because I wear the one with Paisley all the time, I saw this one online and it's slightly different. So I just purchased it. I think it was $7, an amazing deal, um, considering that these shirts last a lifetime. And it has this really cool, I don't know what you would call it, like little diamond flower <laughs> geometric pattern. But this is exactly what I wanted, just a nice overshirt that will wear forever. Awesome. The next item comes from this brand called Paisy.com. So again, this is not sponsored or anything. I, I bought this from the website Wolf and Badger, who I always see on my Instagram feed. And let's see what we have. So this is a sweater. I think it's supposed to be navy and white. And it's this beautiful like draped, semi-cropped, but three quarter sleeve sweater. <clears throat> and I'll try to insert pictures or at least try on pictures, I'm not sure. But I just saw this every time and I thought it was just so pretty. So it has a good sleeve length for someone who's short like me. And now I can finally try it on and wear it on cooler summer days, like on the beach. The next item comes from Naywai. I've heard about this brand from YouTubers like Shay Whitney. She talks about this all the time. I bought some of their undergarments in the past and then I figured out that I need a, a strapless bra. So not to be too, <laughs> too open with you guys, but this is how it comes. Um, it's actually really nice. It has little buttons and then this paper envelope. And it ha it's very comfortable, no wires, with a little mesh in between. So this will go well with some other of the purchases that I made. Hopefully it is comfortable. I will let you know. Next in my haul comes from guilt.com. I've been shopping guilt for uh, probably 10 plus years and they always have a lot of good deals. And when I saw this, I think I got a $25 coupon. And so you can always get a dress for, for something quite affordable. So here we have a black cutout dress by the brand Madewell. And you can see it's kind of like has this cut out back. So I will definitely put some pictures. 
and it has some puffy sleeves, so that should be cute. And it almost feels like a seersucker type fabric. It has a button back. But in my video about my luxury wish list, I did talk about wanting a cutout dress. So this is kind of out of my comfort zone. And it looks like it could be short, but, but because I'm sure it might actually fall on a normal, at a normal length. So we'll see how it looks on. But I figured this might be really fun for my upcoming trip. And then over the actual July 4th weekend, I went to the Jersey Shore. And there just happened to be some premium outlets there called the Jersey Shore Premium Outlets. So one day when we were trying to beat the heat, we went to the outlets and it was actually really fun. Um, I don't go to outlets much, so it was really just fun to poke around and look at what they had. Um, it wasn't like super premium outlets, so there was no like Fendi or Burberry or anything. I think the most expensive brands they had were like Marc Jacobs, Hugo Boss. And so one of my, one of my favorite brands there was Cole Haan. The bag kind of <laughs> didn't really make it well on the trip back. But I got some really cool sandals. So these are the Flynn Flat Sandal. Uh, and then in the end, with all the discounts, it came to about, I don't know, $40. But I just really, I have a, a sandal like this in a tan color. And so when I saw this, and it has some really nice gold, gold toned hardware, and Kohan always just has a really comfortable footbed. So I tried these on and I figured I could wear these in my commute to work, unlike my Oran Santorini's, which is a very similar type of look, but these will be more of a workhorse for commuting. And just when it gets so hot, I could even wear them with this um, dress right now. And next from the outlet is J. Crew Factory. And I got this beautiful short sleeve chambray shirt dress. So it doesn't get more basic than this. I would probably obviously have it unbuttoned, but to me, this is just such a good summery look. And in my past summery luxury picks video, I had talked about that I just love a good shirt dress. Like clearly we have this with the button down and now I can add this. And I love a good denim shirt as you've seen. So just combining it all makes me think that I will get some good use out of this. And for $40, it's an awesome deal. Next, I always like to go around to the coach outlet stores if I'm around one. And I always go in and I try on the same bags and I'll put some pictures here. I, I really liked the coach chalk. I forget if it is the Abby bag, I'll correct myself. But the, the chalk and the gold color, and there was even a really cute little straw bag, but I passed on that. And ultimately, I bought this really sweet looking umbrella. And what got me was the bee pattern, because as you may know, bees are a sentimental animal that reminds me of my daughter, and owls remind me of my son. But I just really couldn't pass this up. Again, I think this might have been uh, $40 in the end. And I can always use a nice compact umbrella to throw into my backpack for work. So super cute, super cute. And do you guys like these unboxing hauls all batched up? Or do you just rather me unbox things as they go? Please let me know what you think. Because basically I'm just buying stuff that I need regularly and I can batch it up or I could just show what I have as it comes. Next comes from Amazon and this I figured out I needed while I was on my trip. So the Jersey Shore trip was a good one because it's preparing me for our Caribbean trip. And what I got was a nice cheap pair of water shoes. So let's see. So yeah, this is basically, there's no, no real structure, just a nice kind of rubber, rubber bottom and some mesh top but this would fit on most shoes. And I liked it because it was light and I feel like it could blend into my skin tone from afar. So if I'm wearing a bathing suit, it like wouldn't cut me off at the leg. Um, so yeah, when I'm like either 
in a splash pad with my kids or a water park, I can bring these, but I realized I just didn't have any. So then I just went with these, which I think were $11 on discount though, so that's what got me. My next item is actually very excitedly a bag, and it's only unboxed because the box that it came in was totally um, bashed in. And so here we have this beautiful dust bag, and this will be a true first impressions because I haven't opened it. But it has the this, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's the Negetti uh, label. So here we go. It is the Negetti St. Bart's tote in the size medium. And I believe the colorway is called Athena. So, oh, this is cute. And here's the side. And here's what the bottoms look like. It kind of comes together. So this is my first experience with the brand. And I've just seen it walking around in Bloomingdale's. I've seen it online. And so far, so good. And I had a 25% off coupon from Bloomingdale's. So I thought, might as well go for this. So this is nice. Let's see, it comes with a beautiful zip pouch. This is definitely giving um, the Intrecchiato, <laughs> I'll learn how to say it at some point, but the Bottega Veneta vibes. But it has, um, it's like made of neoprene, which I really liked because as you know, in my decision criteria, part of me wants to know how indestructible or durable some items are. And it's nice because it has this like, oh, it looks like it's sewn in, but it does have a, bottom uh, base that is not removable. So it's nice as it won't move around. I really like this colorway and it was sold out in the large tote, which is what I was originally hoping for. But then I thought, you know, with this color, this will probably just be my hand carry um, at the beach while I have a larger like kids bag. So this would probably be just my stuff. And I figured that the medium would be perfect. So, oh, I really like this color, and I know I have some just town pool stuff coming up, so I can't wait to try this on, and I will definitely take pictures. And if you're still hanging in here, please consider subscribing. I've got some really exciting content coming up. Things like revealing my Hermes special order, more hot tips for shopping at Hermes, revealing my anniversary upgrade rings, and of course, shopping vlogs, more unboxings, and luxury curations. Okay, back to the luxury stuff. So also over the 4th of July were a lot of posts about the Chanel, Code de Chanel um, launch. So I had to look at the website, of course, and this came in the mail, so it came in a bigger box, but this is just what the unboxing is like. This is like a paper cardboard thing, so let's see what happens. Oh, I like this, this like origami style opening. So it comes with, oh, okay. So here's a little Chanel pouch and it comes with two of the little samples. I feel them on the inside. And then I have my, let's see. So here it is. So here it comes out with just a regular black pouch in the color, oh, you can't see it. It's the color Rouge Noir. Now this is really tough to see on camera. And I, I brought some other items to compare. So I actually already own the black. So hopefully you can see that. This has the white CCs and this has a black CCs. So if it, if it wasn't right next to a black one, you might think this is black, but it just has this beautiful the black CCs. And then when we open it up, here's what it looks like. And what's nice is it has a, like a one times mirror and maybe a three times mirror. So there's some super magnification going on here. But the reason why I caved in and totally bought this was because when I saw it was Rouge Noir, this is my absolute favorite, favorite ride or die um, color that I have in the Stilo Ombre and Contour 
um, eyeshadow stick. And I'll link this below. Hopefully you can see that it is Rouge Noir. But this eyeliner is what I use almost every day. It stays on my oily lids all day, but it also wipes away easily. So I cannot recommend this enough. I love this, it's my favorite color. And so I had to pay homage to my favorite eyeliner by buying a matching color mirror. And this I can put in any backpack, multiple bags. So it's always good to have two, very practical item. And lastly, we have my item from Hermes. I've mentioned this in prior videos, so it may be no surprise. Let's see what it is. I got this off of Hermes.com and it is the Hermes Soleil Mug number one. As you guys know, I bought the mug number two in a prior video, and this is the one that's actually much harder to, to get. So I'll pop this puppy out and show you. It, it's just such a beautiful, happy pattern. And now I have mug one, mug two, so if I have any guests, I can offer them one of these beautiful, colorful mugs but it's such a good summer vibe and I'm so happy with this. I've bought a lot of Hermes mugs in the recent past, so I'm probably gonna slow my roll there, but I couldn't pass up this when it appeared back online. So that's it, we made it. I had a lot of fun sharing this haul with you and giving my first impressions. Please like this if you've enjoyed it and consider following me on Instagram where I post more spontaneous content about how I use these items in my daily life and other luxury moments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.